Does this background make my tip look quick? Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Now, quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. In my opinion, it's easier to duplicate artwork in Illustrator, which is vector-based, versus Photoshop, which is raster-based, because in a vector-based program, all you have to do is select the object. And selecting the object is half the battle when copying and pasting. In Photoshop, you'd have to select the pixels first before you can duplicate them. So to copy and paste in Illustrator, all you have to do is select the object that you'd like to duplicate. Then you hit Command or Control C or Edit, Copy. So once you do that, it copies it to the virtual memory and then you can hit Command or Control V as in Victor to paste or Edit, Paste. A lot of people wonder why you don't have P for paste, and that's because that's taken by print. So here, I was able to make a duplicate of this eggplant illustration, and by copying it and pasting it, it just puts it somewhere else on your artboard that you can easily select and move into place. But there's a way to duplicate artwork without copying it to the virtual memory. Here, this tomato illustration, which by the way, you can see how I created this illustration if you go to my YouTube channel, Graphics Girl, so if you select it and hold Alt or Option and drag, you can make a duplicate of that artwork. So you just select it. On a Mac, you hit Option. On a PC, you hit Alt and drag. But if you add in the Shift key, when you Alt or Option drag, it will constrain it to the vertical plane or horizontal plane, but it'll align it for you. You see how it's snapping into place? I can't really move it to the right or left. It's gonna jump it by 45 degree angles. But you could just let go, and now you've made a direct copy or duplicate of that artwork on the same vertical plane. I'll show my rulers here, Command or Control R, and I'll drag out a guide from the one ruler to show you that these elements, in fact, completely line up, see? So that was duplicating artwork without recording it to the virtual memory. This first example, copy and paste, does use virtual memory. Doesn't really matter which one you use, but I happen to use the virtual memory because I like to not only just paste, but paste in front, paste in back, and place artwork right in place. I'll demonstrate. If I select the banana here and I hit Command or Control C to copy it first, then, if I hit Command or Control F, as in Front, or Edit, Paste in Front, it actually puts a duplicate right on top. Don't believe me? Here, I'll move one out of the way, and you'll see that there are now two. By the way, when I drug that down, I just hit the Shift key to keep it in the same vertical plane. So, here my little fish illustration here, Command or Control C, then, Command or Control B is in back. It doesn't look like anything happened, but if I drag that out, you can see I made a duplicate. So the one pasted it directly in front and the other one pasted it directly in back. Similarly, if I use my water bottle here and Command or Control C to copy that water bottle, I can do Command or Control Shift V. It's just like paste, but pasting in place puts an exact copy directly on top of that object. Here, I'll just move it out of the way so you can see that there were, in fact, two. So when creating artwork, it's sometimes advantageous to be able to copy and directly place artwork right on top. A prime example of when I do this is when I utilize layers, which you don't have to do. If I copy artwork and then I go to a new layer, for example, I can paste it directly in place. 
So that's an example of how paste in place or pasting in front or pasting in back can become helpful. One last note, all of this was to make a duplicate or copy of artwork. Obviously, if you wanted to cut it from one layer to another or just cut it from your layout, open a brand new file and paste, that is Command or Control X. So cutting, like cutting a coupon out of a newspaper, removes it from that area in order for you to then paste it elsewhere. So all or option drag, as well as copying, cutting, pasting, pasting in front, pasting in back, and pasting in place are all ways to duplicate artwork in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. Yes! That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.